Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to the Creative Cow Photoshop Podcast. I want to show you one of my favorite ways to make a selection. Now, you might be thinking, this one's easy. All I need to do is grab the quick selection tool and start to drag through, but not so fast. Sure, we can try select color range, and it works kind of well, but it's still a little tricky and needs a lot of tweaking, and you see it starts to erode in. So what I want to do is use a little used command called calculations. You'll find it under the image menu, image calculations. This allows you to combine two or more channels together. Typically, I'll take the ones that are highest contrast. In this case, the green and the blue, given the subject matter. Then taking a look at the blending modes here, you can mouse over until you find one that's a great combination. This is looking pretty good here. But as I mouse, overlay looks even better. And I'll tell it to create a new channel. Now you can take a look at that channel and if needed, run the levels adjustment. Simply pulling in the white slider here gives you a nice clean pure white. And the black slider is gonna increase the dark areas. Now it's super simple. Just command or control click on that and you've got a selection. Now it's super easy, you can take that and just take advantage of a layer mask. In this case, I'll just click the Add Layer Mask button. Now, if it goes the opposite direction, no big deal. Just select and press Command or Control I, and it perfectly inverts. Let me show you though, this isn't a fluke. It works on all types of imagery. So if you say Image, Calculations, just take the two channels that are most different. In this case, red and blue. If needed, invert one of the channels, and you'll see that it combines in new ways. Then mouse over and drag through your blending modes. Invariably, one of these will work quite well. I like Color Dodge. I'll click OK, and the new channel is generated. I'll press Command L for levels, and a quick pull on the black slider cleans things up, as does the white slider and that middle slider can be used to erode the edges slightly, much like you would choke a mat on a green screen project. Look at how the smallest little details here along the edges of this tower are cleaned up. Command or control click to load, switch to your RGB channel, and just add a layer mask. And as you see, perfect transparency nearly every time. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. We'll have more videos on creativecow.net, all about using Photoshop, both for photography and for video purposes. And a big thanks to our partner, Luminar Flex, which is a super cool plugin for Adobe Photoshop. I invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching.